it's kind of hard to say, Mark, that um, that the school specifically uh, was the target. Uh, you know, my gut tells me that um, just where he was focused and where he was shooting, um, he certainly intended to do what he did. Why is what I, I, I just, I, I don't know why. Gunfire began raining down on the Van Ness neighborhood about 3.15 Friday afternoon. The shots came from this fifth floor apartment above the Edmund Burke School which was preparing to dismiss students at the time the gunman opened fire. Directly in the gunman's line of sight, this elevated glass enclosed walkway that connects the two school buildings. Four people were hit, including a 12-year-old girl. Nobody was killed. We know that in excess of over 200 rounds uh, were fired uh, from this sniper uh, from the apartment uh, on uh, Van Ness Street. We know that 200 rounds were fired, and we know that he had in excess of over 800 uh, rounds, unspent, unshot rounds uh, at his disposal. Police say 23-year-old Raymond Spencer had set up a sniper's nest in the apartment armed with automatic weapons and sniper gear. Police swarmed the area, sending the neighborhood into lockdown. Bullet holes were found in store windows and cars as much as a half a mile away. As police were making their way into the apartment, they say Spencer took his own life. There was a camera set up in the hallway so that he could see approaching officers as they approached uh, the apartment from where he was uh, where he was set up. Know uh, again that you know he's he's purchased these these firearms. We know that he's lived there since since January. Uh, you know he has a place in, in in Fairfax County and this place in D.C. that's not far away. You know it could go back as far as four months. I don't know. I mean he could have had he waited a few minutes when you know there's dismissal going on. You know, he wouldn't have to shoot at a window or cars. I mean, he could have, you know, could have actually shot people who were, who were more people who were, who were on the street at that point. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.